I don't understand pushing back on the rule of law. I mean, we've got a great panel here this morning, Lieutenant Colonel. Mm -hmm. How can you argue against deporting those people who are illegal and are committing crimes? I think the ACLU. Push against that. Yeah, the ACLU. I, I, and I think that's what it's, it's about. Cool. Uh, you know, and I, I got to imagine that the rule of law should stand whether it's a municipality, a state, or a federal government. But just think about the language of it. Sanctuary city presumes you're keeping people safe. It's such a lovely term when really what you're doing is allowing criminals to, you know, it's, it's, it's a totally different thing. So it becomes almost impossible to, to disagree with it, right, when you're talking about it in those terms. Well, and President Obama last night in that speech where he was talking about preserving Obamacare, he also brought up dreamers about young children who were brought here. He put in place protections of these young people who were brought here uh, when, when they were little and are illegally in the United States. But he talked about their bravery. I think bravery was the, the one of the words that he used and their strength. And my first reaction was, you know what, when you use those kinds of terms, let's talk about those people who are out there risking their lives, protecting the United States. Yeah. That, 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 again, how they talk about people here in the United States, they're here illegally. Nobody wants the millions of people rounded up and deported, but again, can we please stop letting people into this country yeah, who let's are coming hear here illegally? Let's hear the president last night. Listen to this. I think of dreamers who suppress their fears to keep working and striving in the only country they've ever called home. And every American who stands up for immigrants because they know that their parents, their grandparents, or great-grandparents were immigrants too. And they know that America is an idea that only grows stronger with each new person who adopts our common creed. Well, I mean, obviously, we're, we, the president's also confusing the legal and illegal right. immigrants. I mean, we all want immigrants. We just want immigrants to come to this country uh, under the structure that is in place in a legal capacity. And I think that's so part th of their strategy. This whole idea of mixing illegal and legal is really, it really gets me mad because it just tells the wrong information to the public. Well, it makes it seem like you're, inhuman, like you're inhumane if right. you want to, if you want to, say let's enforce the law. The bottom line is the distinction between illegal and legal is a really important one because it's not just about, you know, a humanitarian effort. It's about paying taxes. It's about being good citizens. It's about participating in this country and all the great things that we have to offer. It's about all the things that we need to be a successful society. Yeah. So it's not like we're trying to kick people out. We want we right. want them to be here as Americans. Lieutenant, what do you think about that? L Lieutenant Colonel of President Obama last night. Well, you know, what you all are talking about is the, the great means by which the liberal progressive left is able to manipulate language. You talked about it earlier in your segment about pre-existing conditions when it comes to this health care law. And so my, I have two daughters. My two daughters are dreamers as well. And I think all of our children are dreamers. But what we should be stressing is that we should have people that understand and respect the rule of law and that there are consequences to individual bad behavior and breaking that rule of law. And that is what we should have the president, former president of the United States of America, stressing. But this is a political uh, football. This is something where they're trying to gain more popularity with a certain segment of the electorate. And uh, they are using that language, which, of course, demonizes you if you don't believe in this. And you're right, Maria. There is something about legal immigration that we all support. We need to streamline those processes. But illegal immigration is illegal. And I don't understand why anyone would be able to stand up for it. Yeah, I think the language that President Obama used in talking about the dreamers, I said bravery, but people who push down their fears and keep working and striving. Well, President Obama protected these dreamers from deportation, and President Trump has said also that the dreamers will not be deported, that they're not, in, that, that they're not a target of deportation efforts under the new administration. Of course, USA Today finds this one individual who is a, a rare case who had other problems that they put on the front page about this individual being deported when he had left the country and come back. Well, the left is just trying to confuse, to, to, to make sure that, you know, whether you're legal or illegal, it's the same thing. Uh, even when it comes to national security, the head of ISIS in Afghanistan was reportedly killed in a raid by U.S. and Afghan forces last month, according to the military. This coming as the Islamic State is allegedly urging extremists to buy weapons from gun shows in the United States. That's according to the Washington Post. Lieutenant, what do you think about that? How easy would it be for an extremist to purchase a weapon from a gun show? 
Well, I don't think it's going to be very easy. Uh, when you go to these gun shows, and, and I'm a gun owner, and I'm on the board of the National Rifle Association, you have a lot of law enforcement that are at these gun shows, and you have a lot of people that have their radar up, and they are really uh, scrutinizing the people that are there at those gun shows. And now that they know that this is something that ISIS is talking about, I think that they will be even more attuned to individuals that are coming there. You know, it has to be about see something, say something. And I think that we need more Americans to uh, really report suspicious activity and behaviors and not fall into this, again, this language of Islamophobia, which makes people shut up. All right, we will leave it there. Colonel, good to see you, sir. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Lieutenant Thank you. Colonel Alan West joining us.